Spootorials. I'm your host Craig and today we're going to be talking about So there's a few reasons why you may be experiencing cramping in your boots but the number one culprit for this is going to be boots that are too big. And what that forces you to do is overwork the muscles in your feet to try and steer your skis properly. Now this causes a lot of unnatural stress on your feet and because you're getting movement inside your boots what you tend to do is try and grip with your toes to try and hold on. So we've got to check your shells to see how they're looking in relation to your foot. So if your shell check is actually looking pretty good we should turn your focus to take a look at your anxiety levels. Now I'm all about getting after it and pushing your skiing to that next level but if you're out there skiing and you're really tense or anxious, you're gonna stiffen up and you're gonna put a lot of extra tension through your muscles. And again, this does a similar thing to your feet. So you wanna make sure you ski hard still, but just try and keep your mind relaxed. So being relaxed will help your skills anyway, because you're more likely to get into your zone and get in that state of flow. Next, are you using a good footbed? So we need to stabilize your foot to prevent that elongation movement inside your boot because what it wants to do is try act like a spring for shock absorption. Now this movement of your arch is actually useful when it comes to walking or running, but in a ski boot we're doing a whole different set of unnatural movements. When you're locked into a hard plastic shell of a boot, we need to restrict certain movements because we want to make this ski boot an extension of you. And that footbed is a connecting element between you and your boots. Now does your ski day generally start like this? Well, you're probably dehydrated as hell and need to get some water in you. Also a good idea to get some electrolytes back in you, as well as vitamins and minerals. So a good breakfast, because being deficient in these can cause your feet to cramp. And lastly, circulation can be a culprit. Now if you are cramping, it's a good idea to take your boots off and have a look for any inflamed blood vessels and veins. Check for pressure points inside your boots, and also be conscious not to over tighten the buckles on your boots. Now if you're not getting good blood flow, your body can't get the oxygen to where it needs to be in your feet and your muscles cannot function properly. And that can be causing cramps. So quick checklist. If you're scrunching your toes when you ski, stop it immediately. If your boots are too big, we need to reduce some of that extra space or you need to look at some new boots. Are you using a footbed? Are you trying to ski hungover as hell? And are you getting good blood flow? So thanks heaps for watching. Keep in mind this video is only for the symptoms of cramping feet. And you may be getting other types of pain and we're going to go through some of those fixes in a different video. Stay rad, be a patriot. Signing out.